today I'm building a cheap starter team, a medium budget, a high budget, and a skillers starter team. Let's get started. Elite FC will be running a four, four, four. four. Two. Angel Correa kicks us off, and this will be our medium budget team. Playing for the Atletico Madrid women's side, Aji Bade. And I haven't heard of her until today, but her card is cracked, and I don't care if it's unrealistic because Petr Cech was the best striker in FIFA 23 for like a month. I'm gonna use Aji Bade because her card looks insane. Karim, the dream, Adeyemi at left mid. He might only be 80 rated, but he might actually be more expensive than the cards that are a little bit higher rated in this team because 96 pace is tough to ignore. We have to save coins somewhere, and so Dominic Kaur is going at center defensive mid. He's a little bit of a hidden gem. He's got great stats other than passing, but pace, defense, physicality, it might make up for it. And considering he'll be discard price pretty much from our number one, I think he's a good card to go with. It only makes sense to go with M. Ray Chan next, and I'm expecting him to be not as cheap, probably between 15 to 25K at his highest point. But of course, depending on what time of the year you're buying or what time of the first week you're buying, he could be lower. And that's why I'm so excited to start our Trading to Glory series this year, because I want to help you guys determine when to buy, when to sell, how to make all these coins an ultimate team so that you don't have to spend any real money. And if you want to win a copy of EAFC 24, all you got to do is comment trading to glory hype down below and you'll be entered to win winner is pulled on september 19th but the first episode of trading to glory won't be until like two days after that at right mid we have danielle mullen and i think that fits the medium budget team well he's not going to cost quite as much as vinicius jr would but he's not going to be discard price either david raum is our left back he's cheap he'll get the job done but if you get to a higher budget i would go with grimaldo we're going to add in mario hermoso at center back he's nothing flashy he's 75 pace remember this isn't the high budget team it's medium budget Hermoso is kind of mid and that's the point Molina will be our right back nothing crazy but finishes our squad on full chemistry on everybody as long as you get a Nigerian manager to link to Aji Bade and you can go with any goalkeeper you want really I'll throw in Gulashi for the link to round but realistically you could go with so many different options and goalkeepers so have your pick and if you're one Wondering if there's any Nigerian managers. Well, there was one in FIFA 23, so I assume he'll be back. And now what you've been waiting for, the low budget team, because let's face it, we have no coins and the Trading to Glory series isn't out yet, so I can't blame you, but you won't be upgrading your Anderson to Liska to a Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, you know what you might be? He's probably not gonna be that expensive this year, but either way, we're not adding Ronaldo to the team. We're gonna go with the two Brazilian beasts up top with Anderson, Talisca, and Ro Mourinho. Every single player in this team should be 5,000 coins or less, bar maybe one or two cards. Next, we're gonna go with a man named Reindeers. Does he get a strong link to Klaus? Okay, no, I had to check. He's got all stats 70 and above, and he's only 78 rated, so he should be pretty cheap. We're going to add James Madison at center defensive mid. Do not freak out yet, I have a plan. We'll come back to him later. Next up, we'll add Joel Linton to the center mids, gets those Brazilian links, and it might link to Madison. Just give me a minute. We're going Rico Henry at left back. He's got 89 pace. We've got Dumfries at right back. He's got 89 physicality. And our first center back will be Ake, who's got great links through Netherlands and Premier League. We'll throw it back to Saudi Arabia, where we go with Abanez, who I think is going to be the most expensive player in this team. He's got great stats. A lot of people are hyped up about him, and he gets good links too. Mickey Vandeven will be our right center back. And even though he's got good stats, similar to Abanez, he's a little lower rated, so he might get packed a little bit more. He's not going to be discard price, but he should be be pretty cheap. Blacken rounds out this team really well because he gets the Brentford link there. He gets Dutch links all over the place. But let's head back to James Madison now, who definitely doesn't play center defensive mid, but he will possibly get an SBC for winning the player of the month in August. Sometimes they give it to him, sometimes they don't. Nonetheless, a lot of people are going to build around him if they do. If not, he will probably be able to position change to center mid, while Reindeers will probably be able to position change to center defensive mid. Now that's all speculative because there are no confirmed alternate positions quite yet in EAFC 24, so we're just guessing. And shout out to TR Foot because he gave me inspiration for that team. He obviously used a lot of Dutch players, so shout out to him. Link to his Twitter will be down below. Now we're into the skiller squad before we get into the big high budget team. And if you've made it this far in the video, do not forget to drop that like. That's all I ask in return. It helps 
me out a ton. Anyways, here's the first three players of the squad, Kempembe, Hermoso, and Patricio. There's not a single center back in the game that has four star skills or above. So we're just going with the center backs that get the best chemistry and are usable, like Kempembe and Hermoso. At left back, we have Spinozola, who also doesn't have five star skills because again, there are no left backs or right backs for that matter with five star skills, at least until we know some alternate positions. Maybe at right back, Quadrado, who's naturally a right mid this year, could be a right back as well, but we'll see. Anyway, Spinozol is actually a pretty usable card. He doesn't have the most physicality, which is kind of the downside, but we're putting aside certain stats and certain metas to make sure that we have the highest number of skillers in the team. And Sheila is going to be at right back, who has also got four-star skills with good pace, good defense, good dribbling. Not the greatest physicality again, but that's not our priority. At center mid, we have our first of six five-star skillers in the squad, Paul Pogba, who isn't having a great month right now now he uh just got downgraded to an 82 rated and now he might be banned from football for four years but we're gonna still use him at center mid left mid is alan saint maximine who everybody likes to use fast five star skills four star weak foot what's there not to like and quadrado at right mid still we're not sure if he's gonna get a right back alternate position and if so he can be a five star skiller right back but for now we'll put him at right mid of course, Vinicius Jr. and Mbappe are going to be the best five-star skillers, but not a lot of people can afford them early, so I don't want to include them in the squad. We're going to go with Majri at center attacking mid. She's got all stats 73 and above. Of course, the five-star skills. She'll be the highest rated player in the team. Then we're going with Rayan Sherky, simply because he's got five-star skills and five-star weak foot. Now, there is a better player you can go with that maybe I would go with, Mero Zan. She doesn't get as good of chemistry at center attacking mid. You might have to adjust the manager, uh, country, and league to get her on better chemistry, which is why Cherokee's a better option, but Mero Zan's card does look better. Five-star, four-star as well is not bad. And then up top, we're going to finish off the squad with Zhao Felix, who's going to have five-star, four-star, and he gets the link to Rui Patricio through Portugal. He gets the links to Sheila and Mario Hermoso. And then if you guys do go with a Serie A French manager, that's going to get the most chemistry out of this team. And before we move on to the next team, I do want to give a huge shout out to our main man, Jeff Fino. He's got five-star skills. Brazilian plays for Lyon. Could actually fit into the squad we just built. And his name is f***ing Jeffinho. How amazing is that? I'll be damned if we're not making videos about Jeffinho this year. He better get some upgrades. And now for the high budget team. And we're starting with Hugo Lloris. He might not start for club or for country anymore, but he starts for us. Next up, we go with Balde from Barcelona. He's got the pace and he won't be one of the more expensive cards. We need to save some coins because there are some cards in here that are going to be very expensive. It won't be like Haaland or Messi, but they'll still be up there. Like this center back partnership between Kunde and Saliba. Meta, both in terms of stats and to links, so they're going to be expensive. But Di Lorenzo at right back should hopefully not be quite as expensive as those two. We've already got three different leagues in this team. So let's start piecing things together. Sandro Tonali helps us do that. Links to Di Lorenzo and also Saliba and Loris. We've actually got two 88 rated players in this team, which is quite expensive and quite high rated, of course. So it's going to be, again, high budget. Patrick Guijaro, all stats 72 and above, four star, four star, and it just makes sense to go with her in this team. I'll show you why once we get to the forwards. We're gonna go and slap Barella at right center mid, gets the Italian links, gets the Serie A links. He's gonna be important, and he's also got all stats 78 and above. He's one upgrade away from being Holit Gang. At attacking mid, you can kind of go with any Premier League players you want, but I'm going to go with Sabaslai because I like his card the best, plus he's not super high rated. Now, the only downside to him is there are no hungry managers in FIFA 23. There might be an EAFC 24, but if not, maybe Sam Allardyce counts as a hungry manager. And these strikers are why we play the game. They are so good and they're going to be so expensive. So just make sure that you have the coins ready to spend because they're not going to be cheap. Osimhen is going to be our first striker and he's going to be probably the most expensive player in the team. 88 rated is going to come with a cost and obviously Giaro is also 88 rated but Osimhen is a striker with 90 pace, 86 shooting, 83 dribbling, 82 physicality. That's absolutely unreal. And then the partner in crime, which I might even say is a better card than OC Men. I don't know if it'll be more expensive, but Osha Ola is the card. And here she is, 91 pace, 84 shooting, 85 dribbling, 
85 uh, physicality, better passing, and four-star, four-star. That might be better than the OC Men card right next to her. And she's three ratings lower. That is unreal. It's going to be so expensive, but this squad is cracked. And when you consider the fact that Mbappe is going to be the cost of this entire team, probably times 10 by himself, it's not that bad of a deal in the end. But that's the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching to the very end. You're absolutely amazing for supporting me. I really appreciate it. Bring on the EAFC hype, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Drop a like, subscribe, peace out.